we're here to talk or give some advice about what we think Cole should do to attract more 18 to 24 year olds. And so just like kind of a background, in um, the last year in total retail sales across the United States, there was $5.32 trillion sold. And just polls alone was $19.2 billion, which is actually, they were ranked 23rd out of 100 for the United States. And um, ever since 2005, the, um, their sales have been climbing, except for 2007 to 2008, which was like around the um, recession. So I think that's why there was like a slight drop, but then it's been increasing ever since. And so for the online sales, those have been rising as well especially for this age group that we're looking at. And in 2014, you can see that it started at 20, or 71, or 71%, excuse me. And then now it's actually up to, in 2017, it's um, about over 76%. And in 2019, it's still going to be growing, they're predicting. And they were, um, Kohl's was ranked fifth for best online shopping. So Kohl's, they really pride themselves on doing well at customer satisfaction. And in most rankings, they are better than their competitors. For example, customer satisfaction um, online, they're actually the highest uh, compared to their competitors, which are Macy's, Target, Sears, and Walmart. And then in store, they're also the highest with a score of 80. And on mobile devices, their score is 78 out of 100, which uh, puts them second compared to their competitors, which is pretty good. And then for shopper satisfaction, their rating is a 77, which is also the leading compared to their competitors. And their reputation score is actually the highest compared to their competitors as well. So overall, their satisfaction and word of mouth and what people think of them is an overall good deal. And then, um, since 18 to 24 year olds is one of the largest age groups in the United States, um, Kohl's knows that, they realize that, they want to be able to um, get customers from that age group. And according to the respondents, um, customer service is key to 18 to 24 year olds because usually they're not like loyal to a certain store, they're just loyal to maybe sales or certain brands they like. And actually, 18 to 24 year olds is the most common age group to buy online. All right, so how can Kohl's, how can we improve on this market? So one idea is that we create a partnership with Starbucks, kind of like how Walmart and Subway have a partnership. Um, one good thing with this is that 40% of Starbucks sales are all through this age group, the 18 to 24 year olds. So one idea is to put Starbucks maybe in the back of the store a good thing is with Kohl's not being in a lot of malls, it does allow to have a drive through for the Starbucks as well, so it's an added benefit for both businesses. Um, you know, putting in the back of the store, it allows customers to walk right through, look at all the products, you know, all that different kind of stuff that Kohl's offers, and you know, definitely can pick up on sales that way. Um, another thing is expanding our social media marketing or e-marketing. Um, we live in a day where everyone has a social media account, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So if we improve on this, it'll definitely help uh, bring in the younger generation, which pretty much I would say a huge portion of you know, the 18 to 24 year old range does have some form of social media. Um, third is campus sponsorships. So reach out to colleges, you know, go into their sports arena, sponsor that, give out uh, scholarships, um, you know, all that way you can get your brand name out and you'll be able to uh, get holes to or you'll get the students to know what Kohl's is. Uh, run more sales and give best customer service. So as Cole had stated, 18 to 24 year olds, according to respondents on Intel reports, aren't loyal to just one business. They go wherever the sales are, wherever the lower cost is. Um, that way they can pretty much you know, get the best deal. So if we do run more sales, advertise all those, they'll bring in more 18 to 24 year olds. Uh, lastly, no, I lied. By following these ideas, we believe Kohl's will be able to improve on our 18 to 24 year old market. Um, following is our references. And we would like to thank you all for listening to us. If you have any questions, we'd like to hear them. Yeah. Keep recording up your questions. Okay. Um, so my question to you is, um, in terms of your Starbucks idea um, recommendation for partnership, 
Did you research where Starbucks is already partnered, specifically, perhaps in some of their competitive industry markets? I know that there is one in Target. Mm -hmm. like, there's a couple in Target. But um, other than that, there wasn't like too many of the different ones other than like Subway and Dunkin' Donuts. I know have a lot in other places. We mm -hmm. figured Starbucks would be better since it's only in like a couple of competitors rather than most of them. Did you happen to um, find any information on <coughs> On the success of that partnership for Target? Um, I did not find that. We haven't looked into a succession rate mm -hmm. per se, um, mostly for the ideal, or for the idea. <coughs> um, we definitely think that teaming up with Starbucks will be able to improve the 18 to 24 year old market. Mm -hmm. um, the reason for that is, as I say, 40% of Starbucks sales are through the 18 to 24 year old market. Yeah. So if you have that flow of people walking in, mm -hmm. whether or not Starbucks succeeds or Cole succeeds, obviously we're in the sense that we want Cole to succeed. Mm -hmm. And you know, if Starbucks succeeds, that's great for them, but being allowed, or having people walk into our store, mm -hmm. seeing all the products that we offer, it's definitely a win-win uh, for both situations. Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much, guys.